A few years ago, Ludwig uploaded a YouTube video, as he tends to do, right? It's almost like it's his job or something. And in this video, he set out to prove that starting a YouTube channel is mostly skill as opposed to luck. And if you know what you're doing, you can easily make it big on your first upload. And he did this by creating a brand new channel in secret and uploading one quality video without any of his branding or assets to see if it could get a thousand views within the first day. And when I first stumbled across this, I'm gonna be honest, I called bullshit, right? Mad respect to Ludwig and all, but this video definitely rubbed me the wrong way when I first saw it. In his defense, Ludwig's secret video did end up getting the thousand views he hoped for and then some, but the way he went about getting those views was kinda weird. He wrote a script about Mizkiff and how his door carried his whole career. Then he paid someone to read it for him, then he paid someone else to edit a video essay around it, then when he did his thing and uploaded the finished product, he paid Mizkiff $50 with a burner Twitch account to get him to watch it live. Right, you see the issue? I mean, granted, this was all done to quell any and all suspicions that Ludwig himself was behind it, and he did assure everyone he could do all of this for free, minus hardware and software, but I was hoping to see the video make it on the algorithm alone, and him literally paying someone to inadvertently promote it, you know, it seemed a little bit like cheating to me, even if the algorithm did eventually pick the video up. I, my takeaway was that the results of this little experiment did suggest that skill is a big part of things, but it didn't fully prove that luck wasn't involved in some way. Like he never fully rolled out luck as a contributing factor. And as such, I gotta say, I was skeptical of the whole ordeal. And for some context into my mindset, when I first saw this video, it was in December of 2022, at the end of quite possibly the worst year ever for JHXC, which was my main channel at the time. Right, to put it bluntly, JHXC was dead and it has been dying for quite some time, alongside the game it was built around. I was in this uniquely awful situation, where if I made videos about Crunker, the game in question, I would only get a few hundred views, and if I tried to branch out and cover other topics, I'd be lucky to get 100 views. Long story short, I felt trapped by the sinking ship that was Crunker. Like the water was slowly flooding the room, and it felt like any attempt to escape would just waste oxygen. And I had this attitude about the whole thing, all right? I felt like I was at the mercy of this black box that I called the algorithm, and that it made no sense, and that YouTube was maybe not suppressing my channel, but rather just not giving it a fair chance. And I was butthurt about it, and when I stumbled upon Ludwig's video and had my entire outlook on YouTube challenged, I had a hard time trusting it. Because to me, Ludwig may as well have just said skill issue and left it at that, and it would have had the same effect. But I will give it credit for one thing. It got me thinking. What if I tried this little experiment myself? What if I started from a clean slate, so to speak, where I'd voice and edit a high quality video essay of my own and have it be my first upload and then just let it cook to see how far it would actually go and to see if Logic was actually right about it being skill. And yeah, that's the origin story of JHXE64, the channel you're watching right now. I made this channel primarily as a means of escape, to have a second channel where I felt like I could post the kind of content I've always wanted to make but couldn't on my main. And I made it knowing that I'd probably not get that many views. And for my first video, I decided I would make it about the slow death of YouTube intros, where it seemed like all those old intro cards that every YouTuber used to have began to be nerfed if not straight up removed. It's a phenomenon I hadn't really seen anybody discuss or acknowledge up to that point, and it seemed like a unique topic that people would probably be interested in. Hell, I was interested in it. And I also figured what better way to introduce my new channel than with a video about intros. So that's what I did. I remember spending all February of 2023 writing, recording, finding footage, and eventually editing before rendering out a six minute video that I felt was the greatest video I had made up to that point. Something I had a ton of fun making and was incredibly proud of. I then set up the channel itself, with the logo, banner, description, and everything else before uploading the intros video on March 8th, 2023. As for marketing, I did end up sharing this new channel and video on my main channel via community post, but besides that, I didn't really promote the video like Ludwig did. I just uploaded the video and waited, fully expecting it to be forgotten about within days. And 
well, on its first day, it only got 36 views, most if not all of which came from my main, which, while a bummer, was to be expected. I guess Ludwig was wrong after all, and it's all just luck, right? And with the failure of this first video fresh in my mind, I ended up making the difficult decision to make another video, this time on the whole Mr. Beast curing blind people fiasco. And I managed to finish this second video within a single week. And at first when I uploaded it, it didn't get that many views at all, even less than the interest video, which by that point it had 90 or so odd views. But then, something odd happened. My interest video started getting more attention. Out of nowhere, in just a few days, I woke up to the video having over a thousand views. And within a week, it surpassed 10,000, a view count I hadn't reached since 2020. All the while, I was getting hundreds of comments on the video wondering how someone with so few subscribers could make such quality content. Their words, not mine. When I uploaded my third video, the one on YouTube outros, that's when the intros video really blew up, far beyond what I could have ever even dreamed of. When all was said and done, that video managed to get more than 300,000 views, along with over 10k likes, thousands of comments, and eventually thousands of subscribers, eventually surpassing my original channel. And the best thing is that this is something I wrote a script for and edited myself, something that I'm honestly truly proud of. And seeing it blow up like this to the point where it's easily the most successful video I've ever made, all without paying someone to watch it live, you know, I still can't believe it, right? I think there's a lot of skill in almost anything. I think people who say luck are... And just want to say that because they just want to feel better about themselves that they're not trying. You know, it makes a little bit of sense, I guess. I did research the topic quite a bit and noticed nobody else was really talking about it. I also used a ton of subtle tricks that Ludwig kind of alluded to throughout his video. And I mean, I already had four and a half odd years of practice doing YouTube before this, so I had plenty of time to load editing and talking and other skills. But even then, I don't think I could have predicted this level of success. To me, this is a once in a lifetime situation that will probably never happen again. I mean, if you were to look at my most recent videos, you'll know I haven't been able to keep up the same pace, with most of my recent videos struggling to reach a thousand views, if even. So it's closer to what I used to get with my old channel back in the day. But even then, the energy behind every new upload is just different. Like I've always had a close-knit community on JHXC that I've kind of abandoned for this channel. Sorry. But with this new channel, even on my worst performing videos, everyone seems very much interested in what I have to say. It actually feels like people are watching my content because they want to watch me, and not just because I'm making content for their favorite game or whatever. It feels like I'm striking a chord with people more than I've ever had before. And that's pretty much my main goal here, to get people to think about and be interested in things they never would have even thought of before. And I'm hoping I'll be able to do this for years on end. Alright, I'm in it for a long game. This channel has reached heights I never thought it would make in years. And who even knows what the future holds and what this channel will become. I mean, online lore, right, the channel Lord made eventually became Blood and Schnatch Musical Emporium. And there's always that chance that maybe I'll have another video that goes viral. Maybe I'll get a million views someday. Maybe this video will get a million views. Highly unlikely, but hey, it's a possibility. I may even eventually end up making a video that becomes one of those all-time greatest videos on the entire site. Right along videos like Why Messes Came by the White Lion or History of the Entire World, I guess. Alright, who knows at this point. All I know for certain is that this channel was born from taking a risk. An entirely new channel in the year 2023 during the lowest point in my entire YouTube career. And as far as I'm aware, it paid off. Alright, I broke free from the change of Conquer, and now I'm kind of stumbling a bit but god damn it i'm excited for the future and despite how i initially felt about ludwig's video i have to give it credit for giving me that little push i needed 